Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Frey of Frey Darkness, and today I'm bringing you a 41 and 1 M27 gameplay. Now, I really like this gameplay because I really like this gun, and because it's actually pretty short, by my standards anyways. I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. It is, of course, on Black Ops 2 for the Nintendo Wii U. And now, let's move on to this main subject I have a hand. So, I was thinking, what if Activision went and actually told everyone in the Wii U community, or actually anyone in general, because it seems most people, most stores don't even know what the hell is going on over there, that the Wii U, or that any Nintendo console featuring Call of Duty, would not receive any support. And by support, of course, I mean DLC, or basically anything that really would separate the same game from another console so in, uh, basically in terms of DLC support uh, staff picks and other stuff as you probably saw in the intro I show you the Call TV staff picks which of course on Wii U is nothing not even once did they ever probably have a pick they clearly don't show support towards the Wii U version of the console and it's very disappointing we pay the same money for this version, yet we don't get map packs, we don't get the free DLC that we should have, if we pre-order the game we don't get the same perks that others do, and we don't get support after a while. After a certain amount of time we stop getting patches, updates and stuff, so if the game happens to be hacked or something they most likely won't even bother, which is very very disappointing. Again, we pay the same price. We get the same game technically, however even if it says we get DLC support in the back of the box, they could care less because their word to them means nothing clearly because even though they stated that we would get DLC, we haven't gotten shit. I mean, I, I don't understand why it's such a big secret. Why can't they just tell us that we will not get DLC or if you will? Is it really such a big secret that they have to even hide it for retailers? Black Ops 2 on GameStop originally had Nuketown 2025 as a pre-order bonus. Obviously that didn't pan out. And they just recently removed Free Fall as a pre-order bonus for the Wii U version. So, why do they not even tell retailers? Okay, isn't it enough that you keep it a huge secret from consumers or people actually spending their hard-earned money on your game when you can't even tell retailers whether or not you're going to release DLC? What's up? Honestly, why can't you just state whether or not we're going to get DLC? Why is it such a huge secret? Whenever anyone ever asks you if we're getting it on Wii U, or in fact, back then, when anyone would ever ask you if the game would be released on Wii, you really never replied. Up until recently, have you actually started just letting it out there that, yeah, it's going to be released on Wii U. But now, the real question is, are we even going to get support? Okay, yes, you've proven that you guys like to make money off consumers by releasing games. However, it's clear that you guys don't care about your consumers because after you've made your initial profit, you don't want to bother supporting the game. I mean, was it so difficult for someone at the that Treyarch to go ahead and oh, pick this or this or this or that for staff picks? Because there has never been one. It's just empty. It's an empty slot. Why it's even there is beyond me. You don't support your own game. What? is a problem there. It's your game. You guys are developers. Arguably one of the richest developers out there. However, you are very poor in developing games as I've seen many many times. Invisible barriers over chairs, sofas, anything that's an object that you can jump on because you're not willing to actually make it a real physical object in the 3D world, you go ahead and block it off completely. Because if, uh, I don't know, either you're lazy or you think if someone gets on a chair, they're going to become OP. I don't understand what's going on over there, but it seems that the developers aren't really willing to spend time 
on the Nintendo version at least. Even on other consoles, they don't really show any actual effort besides just getting the game out there. Now, I guess I can understand you get about, what, two years to work on the game and then you get a Wii team, which I don't really know why there's a whole Wii U team anymore. There's, it's not like we're porting the game completely and just downgrading everything on Wii. So I don't understand why there's still a Wii team. I think they should just merge with a larger group who ports the game out to other consoles. It's just, there's little to no effort really shown. You just throw out a game every year. You get about two years to work on it. You get DLC on it that's already supposed to come with the game that you release it as a pre-order bonus that doesn't even come out on the Wii U version, even though it's already there. Even if we can't get DLC, why can't we get a map that is already there for the game? Is it such a big hassle? I mean, I doubt porting it to Wii U is that much more difficult than it was previously. I mean, I can only assume it was probably slightly more effort into porting the game to the Wii version. Because, of course, you have to downgrade everything, but with the Wii U, it's basically identical. So there's no way that you can't just go and spend time on this game. It's really disappointing when the developer doesn't go and put effort into the games. And of course, I can't really blame the developer. I'm not sure what's going on over there. Maybe it's Activision. Maybe Activision is telling them, no, I want, the Nintendo, I want Nintendo to burn. I don't like Nintendo at all. Nintendo disappoints me. So they're basically trying to let... Activision, they're trying to get the developers to not really develop for the Wii U. Now, Infinity Ward originally didn't want to develop for the Wii, or the Wii U, I suppose, which is why Treyarch had to get their own people to work on porting the game. Which is really interesting because Infinity Ward, or maybe it was Robert Bowling's decision, I don't know, but that he was basically the face of Infinity Ward up until he left. And they didn't want to develop for the Wii. Now, I'm not really sure if it was because it wasn't up to the standards of the PS3 or the 360. But now, what's the problem? If that was a problem prior, what is a problem now? It's the same console, it's actually more powerful now. It sells quite a bit of units. Granted, it doesn't sell as much as other consoles, but you're still making money off of it. Why can't you just port the DLC over to the Wii U version and give it to us? Even the free one. I mean, it should have initially been there. It was set as a bonus. Why can't we get it? I, I just... I have so many questions that I've been asking for years and they've never taken the time to answer. So with the gameplay coming to an end, I want to go ahead and ask you guys a question. All of my viewers, everyone who just had to stop by, would you continue to buy the Call of Duty series on Wii or Wii U knowing that Activision has stated that they will not support the Wii U version past a certain date, will not release DLC, and will basically treat you like a lesser person because you're buying the same game for the same price, but on a different console. So that's the question I'm hoping you guys can answer for me. Go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching.